Today we're going to show you how to build a corner brace assembly out of T-posts using the wedge lock corner brace system. Whether you're building an entire fence out of T-posts or you're just looking for some alternative materials, the wedge lock T-post corner system is a great option. So here we have our wedge lock corner brace kit and inside this kit you'll receive three collars, three wedges and four 60 degree sockets. You'll also need five T-posts for every corner assembly, which is not included in the wedge lock kit. So we have our corner post set on our mark. We're getting ready to drive it into the ground. When you're using one wedge lock corner brace assembly, it'll make a 90 degree corner. And therefore you wanna pay attention to the direction you face your T-post. It can go on any one of those quadrants of the 90 degree angle. So your studs are either gonna face in line with the next post, in line with the previous angle, or it can go to the back side. It just depends what kind of hardware and insulator you're attaching to the T-post studs. So now that we've set the orientation of our corner post, we're gonna use our Titan post driver to drive the post into the ground. For the next step of the build, you wanna lay out your post to get an idea for your 90 degree angle. The distance for the next placement of your vertical post is gonna fall within 12 to 16 inches from the end of a T-post, which in our case is right in the middle of this plate. So right here is about where we want the next vertical post to go. With our next vertical post in place distance wise, we're gonna drive this post into the ground and then we'll repeat the same steps on the other side of the 90 degree angle. And you'll notice when we drove our second vertical post that the studs are facing inside, you'll wanna make sure that you face it or orient it somewhere within that 90 degree quadrant. Since these posts are being used in a horse application, we're gonna go ahead and remove the lower plate off of our diagonal posts, just to minimize any other hazards or sharp objects on the fence. So now we're ready to start using our hardware pieces to set up our T-posts. First, we're gonna use our universal collar. If you put it on a diagonal, it'll just slide over all the studs on the T-post and just set it in position between the two T-post studs where you want it height-wise. Now you can lock that into place with our wedge. You'll notice these studs prevent it from falling any lower in the collar. You'll want those to be on the upper side. Just simply insert the spine of the T-post into the groove and let the wedge fall down into the collar. And you can see that locks us into place in between these two studs. And since we are at the top of the T-post, we're gonna put our socket. The teeth are gonna go up through the collar. So now we're sliding the hardware on our lower angle of the second vertical post. And it's gonna be the same process as the top of our corner post, just flipping that 60 degree socket the other way so that it goes upwards into the diagonal post. Now we can repeat the same process that we did on this post on our other post. The only difference being we can use the same universal collar up here by just sliding another socket into the other side. You can also use wedge lock diagonal corner bracing if you need to brace a corner that's either greater than or less than 90 degrees. Simply drive one corner post and do a diagonal assembly to take care of one half of the angle and repeat the process using a second post with an extra collar and an extra wedge to complete your diagonal brace. Then simply wire the two corner posts together to complete your angle. We also offer a complete lineup of wedge lock products ranging from corner braces 
individual diagonal braces, horizontal braces, gate hardware, and individual pieces of collars, wedges, and sockets. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fencing tips and expert advice, and visit our website to see our full line of products, including these wedge lock brace kits.